I'm Janice Wong from 2AM Dessert Bar and 2AM Lab. I'm here to show you a healthier version of the pineapple tart. Well, I love fruit tarts and I love to eat um, you know, these um, really nice doughs with uh, lemon curd and fruits as well. But today we're going to do something really special. So I'm going to start off with the dough first. Uh, what we have here is 200 grams of flour, unsalted butter, and 60 grams of egg, as well as 30 grams of honey. Now I'm just going to put everything together. So we're going to soften the butter first. I've got a little processor here. If you don't have this, you can actually use a beater, which actually works really well as well. I'm going to just uh, take my butter and dice it up a little bit. So now my butter is slightly softened, and I want to just cut it into tiny cubes. I just want to slide this in there. And I'm also going to add the honey here. So you just want to let the, the honey mix well with the uh, butter. Now, we want to mix this together. So I'm just going to quickly blend this up. So you can see, it's nice and creamy. Now you can do the same thing with the beater as well. And uh, before I add in the flour, I'm just going to add in the egg yolk in there. Back into the processor. Then I'm gonna add the flour in. Okay. So I'm just gonna use my hands, put it all in there. Okay. Now it's nice and becoming a dough. And then of course, a pinch of salt. So I'm just gonna grab a uh, baking paper here. Perfect. So I'm just gonna get the baking paper here. Now just uh, work on it a little bit. Okay. Everything is very nicely incorporated. And again, this recipe, you can actually keep it in the freezer as well for a good one month. So I'm just kind of uh, pressing it around. So I'm just gonna compact this nicely together. And again, you know, what you wanna do is uh, don't be too worried. If you don't have um, baking paper, you can use soap pads. Um, you can also use a uh, cling wrap. Great, so now I'm just gonna roll it out. Now again, you know, this is, you have to be very careful of this, uh, the thickness that you want in the, in the uh, pineapple tart, and also the shape. Uh, just think about it uh, when you're rolling it. So I'm just gonna roll it out here, and out here, and then back down here. I'm just gonna put this straight into the freezer so I can punch out the shape that I want. And the best way is to also feel the thickness of it is actually just feeling it through. And it's a really good uh, feeling doing that as well. So what I have here is, um, you can see the thickness here. This is the thickness that you, that you want. Great, just gonna quickly take my tray and put it straight into the freezer. It's brilliant. Okay, so while waiting for the uh, dough to rest, we're actually gonna start on our pineapples. So again, you know, this is a pretty huge pineapple and uh, we're just gonna do one pineapple today. So just taking out the bottom as well as the top, okay? And then we're just gonna take the skin out and then grate it. It's a pretty traditional recipe. So just cutting it off the top. And then I'm just gonna slice it this way. Around. So what you wanna do is also cut it into wedges. And then after that, you're actually going to grate it over a sieve and get all the juice out. So, so there we go. And then I'm just going to quickly dice it up. Actually, I'm going to dice it up this way as well. Okay. Now you don't take out the core because, you know, that is also edible. I'm going to get ready my tools. Now, this is actually pretty uh, user-friendly as well. I'm just gonna get one of these and grate it over. You want all the juice to sit here. Now, don't throw away the juice. You can actually drink it, which is what I'm gonna do later. So, taking this slice here, I'm gonna dice it into cubes and then send it into the dehydrator. I'm just gonna roughly chop it up because you know what, it's gonna be inside it anyway. So I'm gonna now prepare my tray. So I've just finished dicing up, uh, loosely dicing up the pineapples. I'm just gonna toss them around. I'm gonna quickly put this in the oven, 120 degrees for 20 minutes. Wow. 
While it's cooking in the oven, I'm just gonna quickly grab my sieve and my bowl and also the grater and just quickly take a piece of the uh, pineapple and also start uh, grating it. Now you wanna keep all the juice in there as well. Now again, I love the smell of pineapples. I love the sweetness. And you can see, this is what you wanna get. It's really, really nicely finely grated. And look at the juice. Look at that. That's my cup of uh, vitamins for today. Now I'm gonna just take the flesh. And you can see, you just wanna just take out the juice. Why you wanna do this is so that it expedites the process. So I'm gonna quickly compress it. And I'm just gonna put it into the pot and then let it self-caramelize. I love doing that to fruits and not adding additional sugar to it. I'm gonna now put it on medium heat and um, continuously stir it. So you don't have to be at the pot all the time. All you have to do is just give it a stir once in a while. Here we go. So it's nice and frozen now. The reason why we keep, keep it frozen as well is because, so if you don't have it frozen, you're actually not gonna get the really nice defined and refined shape. So I'm just gonna use rounds okay. and just punching it out. So look at that. And you can, you can keep doing this and making maybe about 10 to 12 pineapple tarts. Uh, again, depending on the, what shape and size you want. Just gonna quickly put this in, on a sill pad. Again, you can also put this onto a baking paper. So I'm just gonna put this into the oven, 175 degrees for about nine to 12 minutes. And I say nine to 12 minutes because it really depends on the thickness of your tarts. This is really smelling incredible. Now we have the toasty, roasty notes in there and actually just quickly stirring it to caramelize it fast. Ooh, look at that. Mmm, it smells amazing. I could almost put my entire mouth in there. That's really awesome. Give it a good 10 to 13 minutes on your pineapple and then your, your paste is ready. Okay, mm, it smells so good. It's like fresh tarts out of the oven. You know, you really kind of smell that buttery notes to it as well. Now our pineapples are ready. Now we also got our dehydrated pineapples ready. This is just to add some texture to your pineapple tart. So what we have here is uh, the pineapples. Now you can see all the fiber textures in it. Uh, that's actually what you want. Now you kind of want to just roll it up and then make a small little hole and start putting, you know, one or two cubes is really up to you. You don't have to just do this for Chinese New Year. You can also do this with apples and pears. And uh, I really hope you enjoyed the recipe.